Hey everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can make this looping kinetic typography step animation in After Effects. Okay, let's start off by creating a new comp and we're going to go over Instagram post size here, a width of 1080 and a height of 1350 and we'll just call this main comp. And I'm then going to duplicate this comp and call this static text make sure I'm inside of that press ctrl k and change the height to 135 press ok I'm going to add some text now step it up um, as long as it fits inside here that's all that matters so I'm using DIN as the font, but you can use anything as long as it fits and it looks nice. And let's just change that so it looks a bit nicer. Okay, so that's our type. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is duplicate this and press and call this animated wall. And then I'm going to select the opacity, set that to zero, push the rain selector here, go to just before one second, go to 100. That's that done. Don't want to duplicate the wall again. And press, type in floor, go into this. And then move to about five frames and push this keyframe here. Okay, that's that done. I'm gonna go into our main comp again. I'm gonna drag in static text. Doesn't matter where it goes, uh, but for now I'm just gonna leave it right in the middle. And just before I do that though, I'm going to then drag static text inside a new comp and call this static text build. We're gonna Duplicate this, make them both 3D layers. I'm then going to move the anchor point to the floor. This is a free tool that you can download. I'll leave the link in the description. And then going to rotate it on the X axis and push it to the floor. So it's minus 190. And I didn't want to bring it towards the camera. So we're just going to bring it 135 and that's because that's the same height of the comp. If we look into our left view, you'll see we've got a perfect step. So now the idea is to build out the rest of the step. And to do that, we'll go into our main comp. So we've got static text here that I did before. That's actually wrong. We're going to bring in static build instead. And I'm then going to duplicate this. Now I'm going to switch to my two views so you can see what's going to go on here. And in this window, I'm going to switch to my left view. And we're going to make these both 2D layers. This is, we're looking at it from a left hand side. And what we're going to do here is for less collapse transformations. And now we've got a complete step. So we've got two steps above each other. What we're going to do is uh, move it in the Z axis 135. So we're going to do minus 135 and then we're going to move it down minus 135 as well. And to do that, we do plus 135. So now we've got another step and we're going to create about six steps. So we're going to duplicate. And then all I have to do here is do times two. And then here, I'm going to go with plus 135, duplicate, and then minus 135, plus 135. So now we're creating this step. And I think we need one more. So it's minus 135 and then plus 135 
that's actually wrong so let's just go more that way so if the previous one was minus 104 so do minus 104 minus 135 that gives us our steps and let's just move these in the middle okay that's looking all right so the next thing we're going to do is go into our static build I accidentally dragged something in there next thing we're going to do is go into our static build and just duplicate that and we're going to call this animated text build go into that and we're going to swap out the wall or the front facing ones for this and we're just going to drag and alt drag onto this and then we're going to go into the floor and alt drag and replace that so this is what that looks like now we're now going to go back into our main comp and we're going to go to the topmost one now i think these number of steps should work but if not we can come back and fix this but what we're going to do is just swap out the first one for this again we're going to alt drag and now we've got this happening so now if we uh, drag main comp into here and press 3d and collapse transformations and switch back to one view we can now put in a new camera and if we press C, we can rotate and position our camera how we want it. So this is what it looks like. Okay, looking okay. I think we might need one more step, but let me just zoom in and position this about there. I think we might be okay actually zoom out go right one second so what i'm doing here is looking at the position here and looking at the position here because we want a perfect loop and we're going to get to that in a second so i think that might work so this is going to be a one second loop so i'm just going to press the end button here and trim path to comp so how are we going to animate this? So if we switch into our two view, we see our steps here. What I'm going to do is roughly move it here, but we can see our values moving here. So we don't need to eyeball it. We can actually just use values from before. And it's, it's if we have a look here, this value is moving up. This value is moving down. So what we have to do is add 135 to this and minus 135 to this you can see our end frame and our first frame match so now if we round preview we should have a perfect loop now you can see there's a little bit of a stutter that's because the first frame and the last frame are exactly the same and in a loop that means that's a repeated frame so you just need to minus one from here so it's actually less than a second and now we've got a perfect loop but it doesn't affect the speed and let's add some color so we just double click and that creates a nice background and there you go so from there you can you know edit the text change the font you can even move around your camera angle because we've got the keyframes on the main comp so if i want to do I don't know, go here, maybe go here. So that's not working because our last frame needs something here. So we need to put something here for that to work. So that should loop now. Okay, let's try another animation. Uh, what I'm gonna do is just do a bit of tidy up here. So we're gonna call this uh, design A. And then I am going to duplicate design A. 
press and just change the colors. Okay, so we're gonna go into our static text. And what I'm gonna do here, actually just before we do that, let's just do a bit of tidying up. These belong to design A. So there's that, so there's that, so there's that. Okay, what we're gonna do is just go into our static text and I'm going to duplicate that and call this animate slide and just drag that out of design A. And what I'm gonna do here is have a sliding animation. So we're just gonna go from position, set a keyframe position and just animate up and that's it. And then I'm just gonna duplicate that layer, press P, kill those keyframes, move up and then parent this to this. So now we've got this sliding motion and then going to go into our static build, duplicate that and we'll call this animated build. Pull that out of here, select these two and then drag, alt drag to replace. So now we've got this motion. Now we're going to go into our main comp. We're going to steal this one now and we'll call this main comp B. Drag that out of there. Double click and we're just going to replace all of them with animated builds. So we're going to alt and drag and this is what we should have now. And now if we go into our main comp B Oh, sorry, design B rather, and swap main comp for that. We should have a new. Oh no, what we need to do is just before we do that, delete these keyframes. So now we've got this little pause. We don't want that. And the reason is because we didn't set our keyframes long enough. So all we have to do is just change that. I'm pressing tab every time and now we've got another design and that's completely looping you can change this text to whatever you want so looping but you're gonna have to change it for here as well looping so both of them say looping and make sure we're in the right one. So here we go. And we can adjust the um, position here. So we probably want it there. And we've got a looping design. Uh, so another method you can do for this looping animation is if we just delete that and get rid of all our keyframe so we've just got this uh, text here if we just uh, add an offset we could uh, set a keyframe here go to one second and just set this to a negative value and then this will animate up so if we go into our design B that's one way to do it and the advantage of that is we could uh, keep everything on one layer. You can uh, edit your text. Yes. And what if we wanted to go down? So all we have to do here is set a keyframe and go along here. Anyway, we go along here and add 135 
uh, go back to our design beam. Now it's uh, moving down. And, and have a quick tip here. Also, if you want to just have a bit more of a nicer motion, let's go back into here. Just as add some easy ease keyframes. And now we've got this look. I actually much prefer it going up. So let's just go here and select this to minus 106. Minus 167.5, there we go. And I just want to go into the graph editor, select these two, and bring them closer together. So now we'll have this nicer ease. Go back here. Yep, and that's looking really cool. So we've got two designs that we've made. both quite different uh, but really easy to do I uh, hope you enjoy um, yeah if you use this make sure you tag me I'll leave my Instagram and Twitter handle in the description and if you want the project file I'll make it available for like a dollar if you're too lazy to manage yourself all right cool cheers guys and uh, make sure you like like and subscribe uh, I'll be posting a kinetic typography tutorial um, I, I'm going to try and aim for at least once a week. I've got four lined up. So, uh, yeah, keep, uh, stay tuned. Also, because I don't have many subscribers, if there is a tutorial that you want me to see uh, that you don't know how to do and you want me to have a crack at it, uh, just uh, leave a comment in the uh, comment section. Uh, as long as it's like a single based uh, method, like here, it's quite a simple thing. If it's complicated, I don't want to really break that break it down but this one's quite a simple one to break down and i did on look on youtube for a tutorial like this and i couldn't find it anyway uh i won't waffle on it's better to have the waffle at the end rather than at the beginning i uh, hope you like my style of tutorials i go straight to the point and uh try and keep it as easy as possible all right cheers guys